OMG. Oh my God, here we are in episode seven. Let me ask you this. If you were joining real estate today, what would you do for the first 90 days? Let's check out this episode. You know what's interesting is um, I recently finished off a workshop and this gentleman had just joined real estate. And he said, Claudia, what advice would you give someone who's just joined real estate for the first 90 days? I said, perfect. Um, I'm gonna give you five things that you should do if you're starting real estate. And for some agents who've been in the game for maybe two or three years, it's almost like they're feeling like they're starting real estate again. Why? Because the market's changed and you've got to get back to just some basics around real estate. So the first thing you need to do is, um, number one, make a commitment. Like, do a deal with yourself that you're going to get committed for the next 90 days, all right? Because once you get committed into something, that's where you're going to put your focus on and do it. But you've got to put a deal with yourself. The second thing I would say is know the numbers that guarantee your success. And he was going, okay, well, what numbers are you talking about? Well, first off, I said, have you got a business plan? He was like, mm, no. I said, okay, do you know how many calls you need to make a day? Uh, no. Do you know how many market appraisals you need to be doing each week? Uh, no. Okay. And I said, how do you feel right now? He said, a bit foggy. You've got to bring clarity into your first 90 days. So guaranteeing your numbers could look like, and knowing them is super, super ultra important. So the first number that I would look at is how many connections do you need to be doing a day? So the amount of connections would look like, I'd say minimum when you're starting off, and you've got to double down, forget that, forget doubling down, you've got to triple down in this marketplace. You need to be doing 50 connections a day. So that's 250 per week. That means conversations, because conversations equals conversion. Simple, yeah? Uh, you need to be doing two hours of door knocking. Get out there, meet the people. You know, hi, I'm Claudia, I'm your local agent. Um, just seeing some of the people in the local area, just got an amazing quarterly report for the first quarter of 2019. Just thought you might be interested to know the current trends of the marketplace. Would you like a copy? Yes, no, and if it's no, that's okay, you move on to the next one. Um, but you need to go out there and door knock and meet the people, two hours a day. Uh, you know what, social currency is another number you need to build on. Um, database, like start creating some true fans in your little ecosystem of wherever you work. And you should be putting minimum three to five new contacts a day. That means their name, their email address, their phone number, and their, um, I don't know, that's about it, their property address, of course, right? Then the other thing is letterbox drops. Um, you know, last time I looked, yeah, guess what? There's still letterboxes. Um, there's a thing called value perception. The more you put things out there, the more people perceive you in the marketplace as you're listing things, selling things, or you're coming from a place of education where you might put a list of current sales that have happened in the last month and giving them a monthly market snapshot, but you've got to be doing those letter boxes. And then the other final thing that you would actually do in there is actually put social media. I mean, you can't see this, but at the back of my wall there, I've got like 100 dirty reps, meaning for 100 days, I've got to put a social media post out every day. I've got my young daughter here at the moment, school holidays as we're filming this today, and she's taking some social media stuff. I've got to be putting stuff out there every day. Why? Because I've got to create value perception in the marketplace like I'm just doing now with you. So you've got to be doing that in your marketplace. So they're the numbers that guarantee your success. The third thing is, um, Repetition leads to mastery, yeah? And um, you know, what I mean by that is you need to have routine, yeah? And having routine is lethal. So you have gotta have like an ideal day and an ideal week of how this is gonna work. So if I was in my first 90 days of real estate, it looks pretty simple. I would be doing six hours of prospecting, and with those numbers that I gave you, that would easily fill in six hours, and about two hours of working on your skill. Probably the best example I can give you, and I believe sports a little bit like business, Kobe Bryant. Um, you know, LA Lakers, one of the all-time, you know, greatest basketball players, right up there with Michael Jordan. And, you know, when it was game day, he would turn up generally three to four hours before the actual game and shoot hoops. Why? Because he just wanted to work on his preparation for the game. My question is this, how much time do you actually put into your preparation, learning your scripts, learning your dialogues? Because when you door knock or you make a cold call or you're phoning people or you're in sitting in someone's lounge room, there's two things they're ever gonna buy from you. 
is confidence and clarity. Because at the end of the day, you've got to buy you. And when you buy you, then your customers will buy you. And you've got to have clarity around the outcome, what you want, from the dialogue of at a door knock to a listing presentation. How can you get me from point A to point B, right? So you need to work on your skills two hours a day. You might go, Clara, that's excessive. Well, maybe ask Kobe Bryant, maybe ask Tiger Woods, maybe ask Roger Federer. Some of the great all-time greats, the legends, the heroes, the titans of this world, put so much time into their skills. And then you've got to go out there and play. Playing is the prospecting. The fourth thing you really want to be doing is, um, uh, yeah, amplifying your skills, yeah? And the other thing that you really want to be doing, and I've got here, is um, accountability. And the accountability is reflecting at the end of each day and looking at your numbers. Looking at your numbers to see where you're currently at, okay? Did I do my 50 connections? Did I do my two hours of door knocking? Did I do my letterbox drops, okay? Because when you start to measure, it starts to lead to results. And what you don't measure, you'll never generate results. So accountability is, is absolutely massive. I'm looking here and I'm thinking, we've done the deals, we've done the ideal day a week, amplify your skills, make sure you do the accountability. They're probably the two things. Transparency with the accountability, intensify the skills, and you will play to win for the next 90 days. Okay, ready to rock.